So Blake Vacker here with Screen Innovations here at the World Headquarters. I want to start off by showing our friend the uh, light meter here. We're getting a 1.1 on the foot candles reading right now. We basically have got a couple LED strips here to show you what a typical theater room might look like with a little bit of light on. Enough to watch TV, watch the game, watch the football game. Uh, where we show our white screen, again, the 1.1 gain white HD rated screen. This is part of our performance motorized screen materials. It's a very, very good screen material as far as white goes, but we compare that to the black diamond, which is just behind. We'll get that about halfway rolled up and you'll see that it's, well, it's no really, not really even a fair comparison. You can see I have a very, very watchable image here. I'll put this up against any plasma or LCD any day of the week compared to a washed out image here on top with the white 1.1 gain white screen, the traditional screen materials that you see that everybody else has. Now, if we turn the lights up in the lab, you're going to see a huge difference. And again, I'm going to stay in the shot so you, you know, there's no editing going on here. And we got one more. There he is. The big light coming on. And again, very, very watchable image. It's a little bit. Now, we're running this off a hard drive right now. It's going to rotate through its uh, loop here in just one second. But you'll notice if I do a reading up behind here, I'm now getting 23 foot candles of light. All right, same thing over here. I'm not doing this in front of the projector. I'm doing this off the side of the projector. 20 on this side. So 23 on one side, 20 on the other. And again, a, a very, very watchable image on the black diamond versus a very washed out, virtually unwatchable image, which most of you are probably used to seeing. Right, we have this much light on a white on a white image. Notice when we shoot up our grid, again the blackest of blacks with the uh, lit area versus again this is as black as this will get in this lighting environment. All right, for those of you who want to try this on your own, just simply next time you're in front of your projector, put your hand in front of the projector. The shadow part is as black as that screen's going to get. So when you can still see the screen versus on a black diamond, you don't really see the screen, even though it's there. It's so black, it's almost infinite in its look. So we go back to the image again, very watchable. Let's take it up one more time. With the lights off, give you a second to absorb that image. I mean, come on, watching the game on this with the lights on in the room, very, very watchable. You're not tripping over the chairs. You're not looking for the remotes, right? Bring the family in, bring the buddies in to watch the game. And then again, compare that to the white screen one more time as it rolls down. It's just, again, it's not even a fair comparison. So a complete game changer in technology. The Black Diamond brings the home theater out of the dark. Right? We've always watched Home Theater in the Dark up to now because we had to. I think we're making a pretty good case that we don't have to anymore. So put this in your family room, your great room, your master bedroom. Impress your friends and neighbors with a black diamond too.